My name is David from London, business development manager and just entrepreneur. I have a few businesses. Well, my hair loss is, is I mean, I'm 36 years old. I've been losing my hair since I was about 17. So my, my issue really was that my, my hairline was just constantly receding and then it was getting really thin on top and then my crown was just disappearing. So, I, you know, any time I do my hair, I'm always trying to hide it. So my hairstyle was never something I wanted. It was more about how I didn't get people to see the, the hair loss that I was going through. I wouldn't say that, no. I wouldn't say it affected my self-confidence or my social life, but it, I think it's something that when you look in the mirror, I think actually you kind of get to a point where you get quite used to it. So I was in between, to be honest. I was probably one of those people that could have shaved it off, but then, you know, looking at kind of um, the hair transplant process and actually speaking to a lot of other companies and then coming across you, it kind of sealed the deal for me. So that's why I kind of went for it. It was actually the way that you dealt with me and the referral from the people that, you know, introduced me to your company. There's a hairstylist in the UK. Um, she's very, very good at what she does. And she had uh, three or four of her friends and also her husband came here. So when I was looking into this, she mentioned your company. And whereas, you know, you can go on Instagram and you can find a hundred companies in Turkey that are going to do your hair for you. And you can find them for cheaper. I approached these companies and every single one of them didn't ask for pictures of me. They just said, yes, and here's a price list. I always thought, you know, cheaper is not always better. And when I spoke to you guys, you said no. You said no in the first instance because you couldn't judge if the donor area was good enough, you know, suitable enough to actually have the procedure. And I really liked that. I really liked the fact that you went, no, 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 no. Come back in a month's time. And it made me feel confident. So I think with who referred me, seeing the results in person and in that initial kind of uh, interaction with your company, it built a lot of trust. And then it's proven to be the best decision I could have made. Yeah. I think it was very, it was super simple. I think that you guys give the clients, you know, myself, the freedom to kind of, you know, choose where the hairline could be, but then you also advise, you know. So you spoke to me about the hard tissue, the soft tissue, my natural hairline. And I think as much as most people would want to maybe bring that hairline down, I kind of listen to your team. And I think actually from listening to your team and kind of going with their advice, I've ended up with the best results. So I'm very, very happy with it. I mean, if you've ever had a tattoo or anything like that, it's not, it's a tattoos, I'd say a lot worse. The procedure, I fell asleep two or three times during the procedure. It's super comfortable. I didn't feel a thing. You know, you've got the big screen in there so you can sit back, you can watch a movie, you can watch a podcast. Easier than going to the dentist. 100% safe in Turkey, 100%. This is the second time in eight weeks that I've been to Turkey. Everybody is polite. You can walk around anywhere you can go. Everybody says hello. I have absolutely no issues. I come from London, so I, I grew up in London. I don't live in London now. I've lived all over the world, and I could talk to you about many places that are dangerous. London right now is a lot more dangerous than Turkey, 100%. I'd walk through the streets of Turkey at night time. I wouldn't even have a worry. I wouldn't do that in the city that I was born in. I think Turkey is very safe. Istanbul is very safe. I just think it's just, like, just a big thank you. Yeah, every single one of you has been amazing. You're all super polite, informative. You really kind of made me feel comfortable from the first, literally from the first moment I was picked up from the airport. Every single member of staff, doctor, translators, everybody's been welcoming. The hotel is fantastic. The bed is fantastic. You know, I'm one of them people that if I went into a hotel room, it's got to be comfortable. And I was, I was very impressed with it. You know, it was a lot more than I was expecting. So the hotel was great. You can have the room service. So I think from start to finish, it's been an amazing experience.